Is your home really ready for hurricane season? Earlier this month, 10 investigates uncovered potential problems with Florida's wind zones. The zones don't require homes in all parts of the state to be built to withstand a storm like Hurricane Michael, but should they? Jennifer Titus went straight to the top, questioning Governor DeSantis about the current codes. Bay County, where the majority of the damage occurred, lies within 130 and 140 miles per hour, well below the powerful 155 mile per hour winds that Hurricane Michael brought ashore. So why aren't our state leaders making changes? After months of requesting an interview with Governor DeSantis, we caught up with him after an event in Tampa to get his take on what he thinks needs to change. Wind codes in Florida need I think to be it strengthened. depends on where you're at. I mean, Miami-Dade has the strongest in the country. Obviously, in, the, in northwest Florida, you know, you had some of those buildings were very, very old. So I think that's something that localities can look at. But I will say that I think that, you know, after Hurricane Andrew, what Dade has done has been affected. Now, the legislature did not even discuss wind zones in this past session. The Florida Building Commission is in charge of making recommendations for changes to the wind code and wind zones. Their latest report is set to be released in June. You can watch our series Not Up to Code at WTSP.com. Click the 10 Investigates link under the menu tab.